All right, today is a response video to a viewer question who asked, hey, you said you were gonna talk about your little tech bag of little bits. <laughs> when you doing that? Today, I'm gonna talk about my little tech bag of little bits, but also include a few other everyday carry items that I just always have with me, no matter what bag I am using. Yeah, whether I'm shooting photo, or video, or using the GoPro, this and a few other things are always with me. And I always think these videos are really fun. I love, I love everyday carry videos and finding out what other people have in their pockets and in their little tech bags. Because sometimes you see like one thing and you go, oh, I want that in my bag. And then, and then you do. So maybe today you will find one of these 21 things to add to your tech bag. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, and comment up below. Let me know below things that you have in your bag that I don't have in my bag and give me, give me ideas for more sweet things. Because there's 21 items to go over today, I'm gonna go super quickly, but I've included links below to all of them and they are all Amazon Prime links. So two day free shipping, you're welcome. If you're not a Prime member, <sighs> I'm sorry. Before I dive into my tech bag, there's two things I keep in my pocket that, that I think should be on this list. And the first one is the Fisher Space Pen. I used to love this thing when I was like a little kid. I got one and I got one as an adult that I always have with me in my pocket. One, it's nice to always have a pen with you. But two, this pen in particular can write on anything wet, dry, upside down, no matter what. And then when you're done with it, it flips around, becomes a tiny little thing without a clip or anything, slides into your pocket, and you barely even notice you have it with you. Fisher Space Pen, number one thing, always with me. Number two, and this one kind of breaks the rule that I set for this video that everything was under 50 bucks, but this is $59, so it's close. This is the Leatherman Skeletool, and I always have it in my pocket. I have like Benchmade knives or nicer knives, but this is the most useful knife that I have with me. And that's why it's with me at all times. I got a knife, cause that's, you need a knife, obviously. But then I have a interchangeable screwdriver bits, which is sweet, cause I can have a flat head like this. I can flip it around. I can also switch out to the one stored over here, which I keep the hex bit. That's the right size for the Peak Design stuff. So I can always undo my Peak Design stuff and re-screw it back in. But what's sweet is that this comes with interchangeable bits. So you can put whatever bit in there in the extra one that you use most. I pretty much don't ever use those. I mean, sometimes, every once in a while I use the pliers, but I use the bottle opener a lot. You're a hero at any party when everyone's looking for a bottle opener and you go, hey, I've got one right here. Leatherman Skeletool, always with me. These are like the only two things that are in my pockets that, that really matter. Like my my wallet is also in my pockets, but that doesn't matter. And and chapstick, I'm a chapstick guy, it's always with me. But uh, yeah, these are like everyday carry items. Okay, my tech pouch. I mentioned this in my what's in my bag video, but I said I would talk about what's in the tech pouch later and a bunch of you have held me to it. First things first, you'll notice that my tech pouch isn't really a tech pouch at all. It's an Eagle Creek packing cube. It's the small one. And I've had other tech pouches before. Like I've had Peak Design's older tech pouch. They've got a new one, but I don't know. All the compartments to put things is really nice. But what I like about this bag is it just kind of opens up and there's everything. All right, the first thing that is in my tech pouch is another Leatherman tool with another bottle opener, but this guy is special because it's got scissors on it, and I am shocked at how often I need scissors. Sometimes going at an issue with a knife is just, it's just too much. You don't wanna, you don't wanna do it. So you need scissors, Leatherman style CS. Yeah, Leatherman Style CS, this guy's called. And it is super useful. It is always in my tech bag. Number two, always in the tech bag, is a universal cable. This one I'm actually switching away from, and I have another one on order that I used to use, and then I 
I think I lost it at a hotel or something. I got this one because it had the braided bits, but I'm going back to the other one. It is the Anchor Universal Cable USB-A to USB-C, micro USB, and lightning, all in one cable. So it's one cable I can have in here. Anything I need to charge, I grab this one cable and it'll work. Universal Cable. Keep that in your tech bag. Next thing in my tech bag is the Aputure ALM9 LED light. I've talked about this before, but I really can't say enough how useful this little thing is. Whether I'm I'm just shooting like product stuff and I wanna like have a moving cool light thing over it, or you're just lighting up your friend's photo for them, which is really sweet for iPhones and things like that, or you're trying to vlog at night and you wanna just shoot yourself with this thing. It is shockingly powerful. It is super tiny. The battery lasts forever. I know they've made a new version of this that's supposedly brighter and better, but it's not as small. And the size of this is what makes it so awesome. The reason that I always have this with me is because it can fit in my tech pouch and really doesn't take up much room at all. Next up is the Anchor USB, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven in one hub. <laughs> I don't know how many ports it had, but it's got pretty much everything. Apple keeps taking away ports and Anchor keeps giving them back to me. So I have HDMI, SD, micro SD, two USB C's and two USB A's all in one USB-C plug. If you're using a MacBook Pro, it's annoying, but you need it. Okay, next up in here is silver Sharpies. This one sounds weird because you're like, why do you need a silver metallic Sharpie? And the reason is everything camera gear seems to be black or dark gray or, or something like that. So if you need to write on anything, a normal black Sharpie won't cut it but a silver Sharpie will. And I write on most of my camera gear in one form or another. Like, say I'm on a photo shoot and I got my lenses and I've taken all the caps off and my caps are all sitting in my bag and I've got one, two, three, four. I have seven lenses that I take out on shoots. Now I get done with the photo shoot, I come back. Well, all of my lens caps say on the front and the back which lens they go to. So I can just lay these all out really quickly. I go 85 millimeter, that says 85. I clip it on there. The back cap also says 85 on both sides. Clip it on there. Here's my 35, there's my 35 and 35. Boom. Silver Sharpie, I can, uh, I can write on anything, which is sweet. I do like that. It's also how I do things like this, where I take a battery, I know it has to go a certain way, so I'll mark the battery with a silver dot there, I'll mark the charger with a silver dot, so when I'm going to put it in the charger, I can just look at silver, silver, and slap it in place, and I don't have to uh, flip it back and forth until I know for sure that that's the right way up. Yeah, silver Sharpies are, are super useful. Super useful. Next up is a red and a black Sharpie, but they have a secret. They're wrapped in gaff tape. So these two Sharpies both get gaff tape wrapped around them so that one, I have a black and a red Sharpie with me also at all times, which is sweet, but I have gaff tape with me at all times and I don't have to carry around a full roll of gaff tape. So instead of carrying around this, or even like the smaller versions they make of it are still really big, I, I usually just need like a strip of six to 10 inches. So with this guy, I can just uh, peel it off however much I need and boom, gaff tape. In my tech bag at all times. And all I've done to make these obviously is take regular gaff tape, stick it on there and just wrap it around until you have some gaff tape on your Sharpies. This is like a fun pro tip. Somebody, somebody told me this a while ago. I didn't think of this. It wasn't, it wasn't my original idea, so I won't take credit. But I do use it all the time and it is sweet. All right, next up. Oh, this is a pro tip that I did come up with. I came up with this years ago. This is post-it flags. And you might be wondering, why would you need post-it flags with you at all times? That seems silly, but Let's say you got a bunch of batteries in your bag, no matter where you're keeping them or storing them, and uh, you want to know which ones are charged and which ones are not charged. So I take these little flags and I put them on my batteries. I peel this off before I put it in my camera. This goes on my camera. I just stick this somewhere 
in my bag. And then when it's dead and it comes out of my camera, I just throw it back in my bag with no flag. So when I look down in there, I can tell this one is charged and this one is not. I do that with my regular batteries. I do that with my GoPro, but I do that with all batteries. Yeah, all batteries. I used to do it with CF cards. Back in the day when I shot CF cards, I would put them on my CF cards and that let me know that one was not shot and it was okay to shoot. Just a little, uh, you know, make things quicker. It saves you like the five seconds where you stick a battery in your camera and you go, oh, that one's already dead, crap. And uh, yeah, I don't do that because I have flags. Next up always in my bag is sensor cleaner swabs and sensor cleaner fluid. In a world now where most of us are shooting mirrorless cameras, there's nothing protecting the sensor when you're switching lenses all day long. So gunk will get on there. And the worst thing in the world is to get done with something like a great shoot or an awesome video shoot and you realize there was a piece of gunk in the corner the entire time and you're either gonna edit it out of every photo or you're going to just deal with it in your video and hate yourself that you didn't clean your sensor. So you should have cleaned your sensor and that's what these are for. To be fair, I'm super guilty of a dirty sensor, so I don't hold it against you if you do have a dirty sensor. But those are always with me, so if I do have a dirty sensor, it's just my dumb fault. Okay, next up, there's three ways in which I tie things, small things. And the first way is bongo ties. These bongo ties, you're gonna find on on all sorts of movie sets and TV sets, things like that, because they're just everywhere. But they're really great to strap down cables to C-stands or wrap cables, things like that. Hold on, hold on. So here's my charger for my Mavic, and without the bongo tie on there, obviously I just have this, just this craziness of cables, right? But I fold those up nicely, wrap them to the body of the charger, put the little tie bit on top, wrap this thing around, grab the tie, and snap. Organized. So I keep uh, keep two or three of these bongo ties in my bag at all times, so that when I need to strap something down or, or hook, right now there's a charger pack that's strapped to a tripod leg over there with a bongo tie. They're just useful. They're like always super, super handy. So bongo ties. The next thing you should for sure have are these think tank Whips? I think I call them whips. I don't know why they call them whips. Because you could whip someone with them maybe, I don't know. But they're adjustable ties. Really similar, super similar concept or idea as the bongo ties. But like here's the straps for the Wyro light. I use a think tank thing because it's adjustable. So I can get it on there and then I can just crank it down and uh, yeah, things that are a little bit smaller and a bongo tie is too big for, I use, I use the Think Tank Whip. I think it's called a whip. I don't know why they call it a whip, but it's called a whip. Yeah, a few of those are always, always with me. Next thing that's for smaller things usually is these little Velcro straps and they come in a huge roll and you eventually whittle it down to a tiny roll, but sometimes I'll just peel off like five of them to make a tiny roll like this. And all these are is double-sided Velcro bits with a little loop end. So I can take this loop end, not that I would need it for this, but I can wrap it around this cable, slip it through there, tie it off, and then put, a, put it around there like that. Yeah, they're just super useful. And you can cut them to length too. Sometimes I'll use them on like, uh, oh, here you go. On this cable, I cut this one shorter because once it wrapped around twice, I was like, I don't need any more, I don't need to wrap around four times. Twice, cut the ends off, and uh, now it's a perfect length for this cable in particular. Velcro cable ties, always in my bag. Next up is a SanDisk thumb drive. And this one has a little secret switch. Little switch on top, if I slide it this way, USB-C. If I slide it the other way, USB-A. This is awesome. You should always have something like this with you. 128 gigabytes, I think, and it's like dumb cheap. I don't know how much it is, but it's dumb cheap. Always with me. And lastly, a Joby micro stand phone holder. Ah, this thing is amazing for flights, coffee shops, 
pretty much any time I have my phone with me and I'm gonna watch a movie or I wanna watch YouTube videos, and I'm gonna just set it up like this and just be like, boom, my phone's ready to rock. I can I can sit there and throw my earbuds in and, uh, and watch a movie or take pictures, obviously, with it because you can kind of move it around a little bit and get it set up and then be like, self timer and go, go take a nice photo. Yeah, Joby micro stand, always, always with me. Super helpful, really useful. Morgan always steals it from me on the airplane. So now I bought two of these. So she has one and I have one and she doesn't have to steal mine all the time. Heh. All right, that's it. That's everything in this little tech pouch. All of, all of this stuff. But wait, there's more. There's a few other things that I always have in my bag. And even when I switch bags to do a different type of shoot, I move these items into my next bag with me always. The first thing is a headlamp. I always have a headlamp with me. I probably own 12 of these things, these Coast headlamps. They're super cheap, but super bright. They've got red lights, they've got the white light. It can adjust, it, it can do this thing. It does all the things you need a headlamp to do. They're super cheap and they're, they're everywhere, they're in my car, Morgan's car, every bag I own has its own headlamp because they're just so dang useful. And this one, you know, you also look so dang cool when you're wearing it. So, I mean, you got that going for you too, right? It's useful. Doesn't matter how much Morgan makes fun of me. Once you use a headlamp, you wonder why you held flashlights in your hand before. Headlamp, always with me. Next up, which goes with the sensor cleaning and lens cleaning is a rocket blower. This is this is the original, I think, the G Giottos, Giottos or something like that. And uh, it just pumps out a ton of air. I appreciate that. It's the large version. They make smaller versions. Don't get the smaller versions, get the large version. It's the right amount of air that you need to like actually move some dust away. So take your camera sensor, you hold it upside down like this and and then use the cleaners to actually swab it, or a lens, whatever you've got. Um, just in general, these are super useful. <laughs> Next up is a intervalometer, which I've also talked about before, but this is super useful. Basically, it's like a self-timer, but you can do way, way more than just your self-timer and your camera can do. So usually I'll set this to wait 10 seconds and then take a photo every one second. So I'll set this up, I'll get Morgan and I in place somewhere really cool while we're traveling. I plug this thing in, I hit play, I've got 10 seconds to go get into the shot. Now we can stand there and look nice. Click, click, click. Now we can do a goofy one. And then we can kiss, because we're so romantic and in love and we want Instagram to know. <laughs> And you can do all sorts of different photos and your camera just runs and takes a photo every one second until you come back and hit stop. This is also super useful if you're doing crazy long time lapses or you wanna do really long exposures. So if you're trying to do like a three minute night exposure, you want this guy because you can push the shutter, lock it into place and then just walk away, come back three minutes later and release it. Next up is the anchor Big boy battery, I don't know what it's called, but it is 26,800 milliamps. This thing, this thing is a beast. This is one of those battery packs where you charge your phone like five times and you've gone through a quarter of the battery, if even that. We travel with this all the time. It's, it's not terribly heavy for what you're getting out of it. So to be able to charge things, to be able to charge GoPro batteries, to be able to charge our phone batteries, just to know that we have this with us is totally worth the little extra bit of weight. And honestly, for its size, it's not super heavy. It is, it is totally worth it in my mind to carry something like this with you. Next up is the Belkin Travel Charger. It's like a little travel charge strip. So it's three regular plugs and two USBs off of one normal plug. The sweet thing too is that this normal plug turns, this piece right here turns, so I can plug it in in weird places and get this thing just right so the USB cables are popping out the right side. And you know, sometimes on power strips, you're like, oh man, stupid thing is uh, faced the wrong way. Well, they were smart and they made this one turn. So yeah, it doesn't normally have this pattern on it. I did that with a paint pen because I was bored apparently. And the very last thing that is always with us, whether I'm shooting photography, videography, or we're just traveling around, uh, <laughs> there's sporks. 
I always have these with me. These are these are by Light My Fire, and they're just plastic sporks. So TSA does not take them away from you. If you get the titanium version of these sporks, I've heard that sometimes TSA takes them away because they go, oh, they are very sharp, and they have a little knife thing on them, and it's metal, so you get it taken away. So get the plastic version. Uh, also, if you lose one, you are you don't really hate yourself that much because I think the titanium one's like 20 something dollars. These are like eight bucks for four of them. And, uh, and yeah, you'd be surprised, especially when traveling, how often you would use your own utensils if you had them with you. Not that we use these in restaurants or anything, but there's just a lot of times where you need a utensil, you bought food or something like that, and you end up like just dumping yogurt into your mouth because you, you don't have a spoon and all of a sudden you realize, I do have a spoon with me, it's in my bag. Boom, spork. I'm a, I'm a big proponent of sporks. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. I think that's everything I have with me. What do you think about what I have with me? Are you gonna add any of my stuff to your bag? And is there anything in your bag that you think I should add to my bag? Comment below, let me, let me know. Hope this wasn't too long. Okay, bye.